Hello, this is Hamid and in this session I'm gonna teach you how to enable zone protection or DOS protection in a Palo Alto firewall. As you can see that in this diagram uh, I have configured the firewall with the management port and the IP address is 192.168.11 so this Kali Linux is our management box that we can reach to the firewall through the management port and here we have an attacker that through the uh, this port the Ethernet 1 slash 1 reach to the firewall and try to attack the firewall through different methods so uh, let me connect to this uh, attacker machine to show you that I have already downloaded this tool pent menu and the beauty of this tool is that you can uh, create a different attacks scenario with this tool so uh, now I go to CD download because it is in downloads and after that change the mod to 777 pent menu um yeah uh, i think it was in the pent uh pent menu master and here yeah i have that so i run this tool here i i have different uh options one of them is dos uh, i select number two and from uh different attacks that we can have here I select number seven UDP float um, the target IP because if you look at the uh, diagram here the target IP is going to be 10 10 10 uh, 1 so I enter here 10 10 10 1 um, target port 80 enter a string you can have a, a random string here and the source IP is 10 10 10 1 so now I go to the firewall and check the sessions uh, interface and if you look at the monitor session browser you can see lots of packets is coming from uh, the source 1 10 10 10 2 uh, the attacker machines so now we don't have any DDoS protection on this firewall or zone protection now I'm gonna set the DDoS protection in this firewall and uh, secure that um, firewall from DDoS attack any, any attack that's coming from the outside so for configuring the DDoS attack um, Oh, we have some options here um, in the policy uh, we have DOS protection and before that you should set the uh, profile for DOS protection so here in the security profile there is a section uh, DOS protection and in the DOS protection you can add a new profile so I call it DOS profile and here we have two uh, option one of them is aggregated for uh, uh, a group of devices the classify is for a specific device so I want to have a aggregate and enable sim float and you can change the rate here uh, block duration and the action it can be early drop or a sync cookies for the UDP flood again I can set the enable this option uh, set the block duration or maximum rate and it's the same thing for the ICMP flood so I enable the ICMP flood and here we have a resource protection that you can set the maximum concurrent sessions if you have a different sessions connected to our firewall we can have the maximum uh, sessions here and just I can enable this one 
and set it as uh, something like 3000 or 300 okay then we go to policies and here in the policy we have DOS protection and in DOS protection you can assign the profile you have created in the previous step so I call this one outside to inside and the source because I have two zones now outside and inside so I can say that from the outside to inside inside uh, and here you have to you have an action you can deny or you can permit or you can protect um, I, I select deny and here in the aggregate function you can assign the profile you have created in the previous step so the uh, DOS profile I created in the previous step and I submit this one so uh, here now any traffic now that's coming from the outside to inside I have DOS protection another option that you can set in your device for DOS policy is zone protection and zone protection is under network profile so you can you can select the no zone protection add and here I can uh, select outside zone uh, again we have flood protection uh, UDP protection ICMP protection ICMP version 6 if you have a IP version 6 and the other IPs you can enable that we have a reconnaissance protection if you want to have a, a TCP port scan they give you alert or uh, you can set as um, block or block IP or allow this uh, TCP port scan it, is, it depends on the your policy and the network so I set it as an alert and here for a hot sweep or UDP port scan you can set the interval and the threshold for uh, each of them and if you have any IP address uh, you want to exclude from this uh, policy you can easily add it here and packet based protection again you can have some policy here for IP drop any spoof IP address it can be dropped or you can select this option fragmented traffic or if you have a TCP drop or ICMP drop that you can set it here for example I want to ICMP pink ID zero or ICMP fragmentation or a, if I have a large packet more than um, um, 1024 I can uh, drop that packet uh, so after you set this profile um, you can assign it uh, this profile to any zone so I go I can go to zones and outside select outside here I can select zone protection profile and under that I can see the outside zone that I've created in previous step so now I assign the outside zone to outside zone and click OK so now com commit all my configuration here so I have a protection on the outside zone uh, if I go to my uh, Kali Linux here in attacker uh, so now I have a slow loris attack is run is running on the on attacker machines uh, so if I go to monitor session browser so if you look at that 
uh, we haven't received anything from 1116 it means that the packet is dropped let me see the packet inside this packet if you look at this one the state is discard and after that we haven't received any packet uh, from the Kali Linux um, I think our uh, DOS policy now is working and um, we shouldn't receive any other packets or DOS flood or TCP flood from the attackers machines I hope this has been informative and thanks for watching